Hey friends, wow this warm weather brings out snakes and everything. Look at this big long black snake I got going here. Oh it's all curled up, I shouldn't probably get too close. <laughs> well actually what I'm trying to do is, my son had given me these little sprinkler kits like for the flower gardens in front of the house last year for my birthday so it was kind of late in the year to install them so I'm thinking I'm gonna try to put them in Somehow you got a bag of goodies here, and you have to poke holes in the in that big long hose and tuck it into the sand, and then this end somehow goes in there, and then they sprinkle water. So I'm gonna probably be playing with that. I've got three of these kits, so I should have plenty of fittings because uh, I'll just use them in the flowers up front. In the gardens, uh, I like to put my tomato plants. I like to have uh, drip hoses so it doesn't get the leaves all wet, but the flowers don't seem to mind, so we're going to try those up there. You can see my petunias here are doing pretty good, and I've got a cart full of moonflowers and tomatoes over there. They're doing real well, too. So they like the sunny, warm weather, that's for sure. So I'm going to get busy here and try to get this hose to be straight. I'm laying it out here in the sun, so it's kind of like a big black spring right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll give Bear one in and let him stretch it for me. So I'll make some more uh, videos here as I go. So hang on. Well, friends, we're back again. I've been uh, trying to figure out the best way to approach this here. So I've got my moonflowers are going to be planted right up here. That's my next project I'm going to plant. But this year I thought I would try something different and put this little sprinkler in because these flowers need a lot of water during the day. So I got the hose all stretched out, going all the way down there. And I've got a whole bunch of different kind of sprinkler heads here. Some of them, I don't know if we can see this on a video, some shoot water down, and some go sideways, and some go up. And according to this, it looks like even a monkey can put this together, so I should be able to figure this out. And I've got lots of spare parts because Bill got me two kits like this to work with. And you can see that hose was really coiled up when I took it out of the box. It was like a big black spring. But when it's warm out like this, I carefully unrolled the other one out here in the sun, and it looks pretty good. But I've got a lot of work here to do, and so I'm going to get busy and see if we can get something done here. Then I'll put the moonflowers in and show you guys that. So hang on for a little bit. Well, I put one in here, and I was using it for an experiment. So then I it got it to spray all over the place. I don't know how good we can see it here. So I went down the line here, and I put one, two, three, four, five, a total of six of them in. Some go sideways, some go up and down. I don't know. So I'll tell you what. Let's turn on this whole line once and see what happens here. Hopefully the end isn't going to blow off. It says caution, use low water pressure. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, I don't know if we can see it here. That guy's spraying sideways. And that one's going sideways. It doesn't water real fast, but that's good. You won't have a flood then. And then I got another one. I hope leg of my pants leg here is all wet from messing out these things. And they spray way out here. Then I got that one going sideways. Then they won't shoot all kinds of water up onto the leaves of the moonflowers. But these other flowers here, they like to be sprayed. So I think this is going to work out good. Then I put one over here that sprays down. That way it won't get this cactus all wet. It overwatered, I mean. It's starting to come back to life again. It takes it a while to perk back up after winter, but I'm surprised that they can even live through winter. And then I got one here that squirts kind of in a circle and goes way over there. So I think I'm going to get all the plants covered here. And <laughs> my, my legs and my shoes are soaking wet. Well, we can't tell, but it's squirting way out here. So it's actually squirting out more water than it looks like. But I'm having fun because now my feet are nice and cool. Because it's about 80 degrees out here today. See, and I don't have my shirt on, so I can't show you guys. 
No, I'm just being silly. Okay, well, we can always turn the water flow down if it's too much, so I think we're doing good here. So now I gotta bury the hose and see how that goes, so why don't you go grab a coffee while I do that. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, it took me a little while, but I've got all the hoses buried and the sprinklers are all working good. And then I've got the other ones in. I put the sprinkler heads in over on that side, but I'm not going to bury the hose yet. I have a lot of weeding to do over there yet, as you can see. That'll be another day's project. So I've got my petunias up here getting some sun. It's always nice when the first flowers start opening up. I remember when they were just little tiny plants, and they sure are growing good this year. Well, anyhow, now I'm going to do is get busy here, and I brought my plant trailer out with all the moonflowers in it and tomatoes and things in there. So now I'm going to pick out some good ones here and start planting them. So hang on while we do that.